Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be re-pouring some resin coasters I had made that did not turn out. They turned out so bad. So what you're seeing is actually the bottom side of the coaster. Um, what I did was I basically just wanted to use this glitter side as my base for the layer of artwork that we're going to do today. And to prevent resin drips on the underside of these, I went ahead and painted them with Elmer's school glue, let that dry for 24 hours, and that's going to prevent resin drips from the artwork layer bonding to the bottom of your coaster. And I have a full tutorial showing step by step how I do that, so I'll link it down below. It works really well and it's a lot easier to do than tape in my opinion. So I'm just adding, I added one ounce of clear to each of my coasters. I'm hitting it with my heat gun to kind of warm it up so I can move it around easier. Taking my stir stick, smoothing it out so every spot on the bottom of these coasters has clear on it. And today I'm using the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. It's my favorite resin to do for project, to use for projects like this with artwork. Um, I'll link it down below along with my coupon code. It's really, really great for projects like this. So after we have the clear smoothed out, we're going to go in with some alcohol inks from Let's Resin. These are new alcohol inks. Um, these are their flowing alcohol inks. So they work better for painting, like if you wanted to do an art piece with alcohol ink. So I wanted to give these a try because I had never tried them before. The set comes with a lot of pretty colors. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. Today I'm going to use the pink, blue, black, and gold. So I just dropped down a few drops of pink, a few drops of blue, a few drops of black, and then we're going to go in with some blue interference mica powder from Let's Resin. I really, really love using that blue interference with this color combination. I um, Actually, you'll see the black did end up kind of taking over, but I really, really love how they turned out. And this blue interference pairs really nicely with the black. So I'm just going in and adding a little bit of the blue interference to each of the coasters. I did go ahead and mix up my resin and my pigments off camera just to save time. But if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how I mix my resin, check out my Milky Way coaster tutorial. I'll link it down below. And in that video, I show you step by step how I mix my resin and my pigments. Um, I just cut the mixing out of most of my videos to save time because I do it the same way every single time. So I have my blue all added, my interference blue. I wanted to add a little bit more pink to this coaster here. And now we're gonna go in with the gold. Um, this gold, you wanna make sure you shake it up really, really well. Make sure that um, it's completely mixed up before you use it. I shook the bottle for about a minute before I went in and did this. And you'll be able to see if it's um, shaken up well enough because there won't be pieces of gold sitting on the bottom of the bottle. So just shake it until you see that it's all mixed up. Drop down my gold, hitting it with my heat gun to blend everything together. It's super simple to do this, you guys. I hope you give it a try. It's a really fantastic way to redo resin coasters that just don't turn out. And my plan for these was to just blend the gold with my heat gun and then leave them. But I wasn't crazy about how they were looking. So if you have that happen, what you can always do is what I'm about to do right here. Go in with my stir stick and just do some swirly designs. Have fun with it. Add a few little swirls. And you can really kind of change the way the pieces look when you do this. And it's kind of therapeutic to go in and do the swirling on the wet resin. It's really fun to do. And you can also take your little stir stick, scoop off some of the runoff that's on your table. I like to work over wax paper, so it's really easy to do this. You can just take your stir stick, kind of scoop up the runoff, and then add that back onto the coaster if you wanted to add a little bit more color to a certain spot on the piece. And that was it. I just let them dry overnight. And here's what I was talking about with the glue. So I had painted the back of these with Elmer's school glue the day before I did my artwork, let it dry, and now we're going to peel it off. And you can see those resin drips from the artwork layer, right? Those would bond to this coaster if I didn't have that glue on there or tape or liquid latex. 
I personally like to use the school glue because it comes off very easily in one piece. And you can see how bad this coaster was looking. Like, oh, it just did not turn out good. So that's why I was like, this will be a perfect candidate to redo uh, with a layer of artwork. Same thing on this one. So what I do is um, after my artwork layer is dry, I'll take my heat gun and just hit it on the back in one spot so I can take my little shop knife, go in there and lift up that glue and then get a good starting point. And then you can work your finger under there and peel off these resin drips along with the school glue. And if you have some spots that are giving you a hard time, just hit it with your heat gun, take um, your little shop knife or something that you use um, on your artwork, like an X-Acto blade or something, and then very carefully just kind of go under there and it'll peel right off. If you're having a tough spot on one of these, just hit it with some heat. See this one, it was a failed flower resin coaster. Ugh, so bad, it turned out so bad. But I really love how it turned out. Um, in comparison to what I had started out with. Here's how they're looking in some better lighting. I really love these colors together. You can see, like I had mentioned earlier, the black ink really kind of took over, but I really do love the black with the gold and then a few touches of blue with that blue interference. Really, really love how you can still see that little bit of sparkle under there. Um, from the glittery base layer that we started with. So I hope you guys give this a try. If you have resin coasters that don't turn out, you can always add another layer or a layer of artwork to them and do something like this to them and basically do them over, get another shot. Um, I have a stack of these that videos that just didn't turn out or techniques that just didn't turn out. So I have a whole bunch more <laughs> that I need to do this too, but let me know what you guys think. I hope you give this a try. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and be sure to go check out my video showing step-by-step -step how to use the Elmer's glue to prevent resin drips. It's a great way to do that if you're doing projects like this it works so much easier than taping and i'll be sure to link all the materials down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that i have don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you guys soon for another video thanks so much for watching bye guys